Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> the cat dragged me in because I've been clearly gone for a hot minute, but I'm back. We're going to do two reviews of two different Honor Active drops recently. One is going to be the Unified Collection. It dropped a few weeks ago, maybe last month. I'll put the exact time here. Um, I picked up a few pieces. I have sports bras, shorts, leggings, in the Unified Long Length Vest. And then I also grabbed some of their new go-to seamless tops and some new effortless colors in the leggings. So let's get into it. I'm not gonna blab all over the place today. I tend to do that a lot in these videos. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so from my understanding, Unified is a completely different fabric, completely different fit, style. They dropped a whole new legging which for a while they only had the timeless legging and the beloved effortless legging and the unified they did say runs tighter than most leggings in your regular size um i'm a true size small in all honor active leggings i could fit an extra small if i wanted to but they would probably be a little bit too tight especially with the new um, effortless colors that have come out they are a bit tighter my sisters also love um, the effortless leggings and they also noticed that same thing where the leggings were a little bit tighter than they usually are I personally liked how the new drops of the effortless leggings felt um, only because some colors would a little bit stretch out over time I also have some of the OG OG colors and styles from when they first dropped the effortless leggings so mine are a little bit old now but obviously those colors compared to the new colors that they've dropped recently the new ones are a bit tighter when it came to ordering unified i stuck to my size small and i'm happy i did i wouldn't want to size up and i wouldn't want to size down my cat is right there i don't know if you can see him He's so deliciously cute so the color that I picked up in the Unified Legging is the color Oil Blue. On the website it says they're high-waisted with a supportive hidden mesh waistband. So this is what the waistband looks like. Back. There is a, a glute separation detail to enhance your natural form. Seam glute contour detail to sculpt your physique. These are not scrunch. Um, they do have a really flattering like design pattern where they dip down a little bit in the middle. And they do have the seam, like they said, to help separate your glutes because nobody likes a uni butt. There's a technical fabric with sweat wicking properties and a four-way stretch. Stitch detailing to waistband for a flattering design. A raised heat seal tonal local on the back. It says they'll sculpt the body with their glute separating design and special waistband that shapes the core. The waistband is also purpose built for performance with an added layer of higher compression power mesh to help them stay in place while you train. Designed for next level training with the help of our next level lifters. I have also already trained in almost all of these pieces except for the shorts. So I have that experience to talk about as well. So I will say these are definitely tighter and more sucking in than effortless than, and than timeless. They're more similar to the timeless leggings than they are the effortless. My favorite legging is the effortless legging. I honestly do not see myself buying any more of these just because I know I won't wear them as often I was as I will wear the effortless legging and that I do wear the effortless legging. In the gym though, these stayed up. They didn't slip down. I would say if you're a runner or you really like a nice tight hold to like kind of like suck everything in and snatch you, I would go for these. I always notice with like leggings of this material, like the really slick, stretchy they do kind of just like suck me in too much where i'm like oh where did my glute gains go <laughs> i'm just kind of they're not as flattering to me than the effortless leggings on my body i know everybody's always looking for different things so that's just my opinion that's my opinion but i will say i wore them the for the first time ever in the gym 
and they ripped. It's nothing crazy, and I honestly don't really even know how it happened, but I don't know if you'll be able to see, but right here is like a little snag, and I mean, it's not a huge hole, but like it's definitely a hole. I remember I saw it for the first time when I was on the leg press, and I looked down, and I was like, oh, I honestly don't know when how or where that happened. I wasn't doing anything crazy. I was just doing a lower body day. Hey, my cats are like wrestling. I can kind of see them. So I was pretty surprised by that because I've never had any ripping issues in any of my other leggings. And I don't know if this was just one time random <laughs> event. You guys, hello. But that made me really sad. I know I could reach out to them um, and get a replacement, but honestly, it's been a few weeks since then, and I just don't want to, really. <laughs> so I'll pop some, pop some pictures, or I don't even know if I took a video of me training in them, but I'll pop them in here if I did. This is what the bottom of the legging looks like. Oil blue in those leggings is currently sold out, but they have a bunch of other ones still in stock. It says the fabric is 69% nylon and 31% elastane, and to wash separately at 30 degrees Celsius, avoid using a softener and a hang dry. It says it's prone to creasing and it may show fold lines from transit. Don't worry, they will disappear after washing, which is true. I mean, from being folded with my stuff, like they do show a little lines, but when you have them on, like, doesn't really matter okay so the leggings this is the waistband of the leggings kind of just like the shorts um it has a really flattering like u-shaped design this is what the back looks like again there's no scrunch but there is a seam and it kind of tapers down into a v to accentuate your glutes. This material is very slick, very performance-based. I would also say very squat-proof. belly button is like right here so they are more high-waisted they also stay and sit on your waist um, they don't move around like really at all next to go with the royal blue leggings I got the unified v-neck crossback vest in oil blue I got this in an extra small this might be my favorite piece from the entire unified collection she's gorgeous i'm obsessed with the timeless jackets um the long length version ones and i have some of the timeless um cropped vests as well but this one she's she's different it has built-in cups which is amazing i love that they did that because who really wants to wear a sports bra under a top like this um, and it's so flattering. I got this in an extra small because Chrissy was wearing an extra small and I'll put all my measurements in the description box down below, but I can fit an extra small to small in all of their tops In the mellow soft. I usually get an extra small in the new go to seamless tops. I also got an extra small just because they usually have some stretch sports bras. I get a small. I don't like too tight of a sports bra, but I like to be snatched in like the waist. So the front of this, such a nice neckline in the front. It's like very flattering on your girls and on your chest. And in the back, it has adjustable straps that crisscross. You'll be able to see it better when I put it on. Um, and then it has like this really cool like fold design that's actually very flattering when you have it on. And the logo is right there. These two pieces honestly look really good together. 
if you're looking for a really cute snatching set. And this is still in stock on the website in multiple different colors. And my favorite piece from the whole collection is the vest. It's literally so flattering. I have this in an extra small just so it's like a little bit more snatching. Um, the built-in cup pads literally do wonders for your chest, um, but it's still super comfortable. So this is what it looks like up front. And even though I did get an extra small, there's no like harsh digging in in the corners at all. It's still very comfortable. And with the leggings, it's so cute. This is what the back looks like. There's also adjustable straps on this one as well. And then you can see um, like the crossover design right here. So flattering. Like this is my favorite, favorite piece. I love it. It flatters your waist so nicely. It's like so snatching, but like comfortable. And it's also not too long. It hits like right kind of where this design is. So it says it's a fitted style with a built-in sports bra for extra comfort, plunging neckline for a confident style, adjustable straps, removable padded cups, Raised heat seal tonal logo on the front, left hand side, and the back. Crafted from four way stretch sweat wicking fabric for maximum comfort. I will say, um, I'm not a very sweaty person, but I mainly sweat the most like my lower back. Usually, like right where like your thighs meet, like that crease on your waist, there as well. And I didn't have any problems with sweat, so I would say it's pretty sweat wicking in my opinion. The thing about the Unified collection as well is this collection was designed with the sponsorship team in mind, I'm pretty sure. They all got to kind of pick and design something that they wanted and looked for in the gym. And I will say, like, I really like these pieces, so they popped off. And the Unified, like, signature detail is, like, the twist. So they brought in the twist in the sports bra. It's kind of um, here in the back. And I didn't get any of the tank tops from that drop, um, maybe eventually, but for the first initial drop, I wasn't wearing those right now, so I didn't grab any of those. This, I want it in more colors. It's gorgeous, so good. Okay, next I picked up the shorts. Um, I'm a very effortless short girl, I mainly have those. And I have some timeless shorts as well. I haven't worn these yet. It's been cold where I live, so um, I'm not a shorts to the gym in the cold weather girl. This is a previous drop from last summer. As you can see, the color comparison to this pink. This is the color Velvet Pink. She's so pretty. I got the matching sports bra to this. So it's the same exact design on the front and the back. I got these in a size small as well. And it does describe these as a tight compressive fit as well as the leggings. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find how long of a short these are. Breaking out my trusty tape measure to measure <laughs> the inseam. It's about 15 centimeters for the inseam from the crotch to the leg. And then the length from the waistband the end of the shorts is 36 centimeters. I'll put all my measurements again in the description box below so you can compare with me if you need to. I will say with this launch, the colors are gorgeous. Like they have a really nice gray color and olive green, um, lots of neutrals, but they still have like the pops of color and they're so fun. I love this brand if you can't tell. Okay, and I have on the unified shorts. I definitely prefer the shorts than the leggings. Um, they are definitely compressive, um, but they're not uncomfortable. This is what the waistband looks like up close. The 
back. You can like pull them down a little bit more, but I probably would have them like up a little like that. I do feel like they suck my glutes in a little, but let's do a squat. They are comfortable. Um, I don't experience like any rolling in the thighs. You can see like the outline of my underwear a little bit. Something like this will definitely be a summer fit for me. I wouldn't just wear this like right now. Um, I'm also trying a new self tanner if anything looks weird ignore okay so they did drop two different sports bras for this launch they have the unified twist sports bra which is what I have and then they dropped the unified layered sports bra was which is more coverage up front I'll pop a picture of it in here I did not pick that one up because I'm more of the itty bitty titty committee kind of girl. I like a less coverage sports bra and I just probably wouldn't wear that other one. Um, but I know people who did pick that one up and they do like it. So I got this sports bra in two different colors. I got it in the velvet pink color and then I also got it in black, which I will show you in a minute. Um, I did wear this one on an upper body day. I'll pop some photos in here. The cool thing about this is it has removable straps right here in the back so you can tie it into a halter. It obviously doesn't remove from the front, um, but you can tie it into a halter or you can keep it crisp back, cross back like this. I did put it in the halter form for my upper body day that I did. And it also has removable cup pads in this keyhole detail. I know a lot of people, um, when they wear it, they like to kind of like push it up so the keyhole isn't as like in your face. And then other people like to have it down. I had the keyhole there, personal preference, maybe I won't another time. My thoughts and opinions on this, it feels very nice, good quality. I had no issues um, with like too much boobage. I actually have the timeless um, strappy bra on right now, which I'll show you. This is a small in the strappy bra. And I get this in a small as well. And they both fit relatively the same. So for comparison, I will say though, this is not a sports bra I could keep on all day. Like I could wear the timeless bras all day they don't cut into my traps or anything like that but when i did have this in the halter form it did start to bother like right here on my traps in neck by the time i got home when i'm in the gym working out it was great did not bother me was giving back was giving everything but then when i got home i was kind of like i want to take this off which it's performance based so I'm not mad about that. Um, I don't. I wouldn't see myself wearing this as an all-day sports bra anyway, so that doesn't affect my view on it. Um, my sister got this one to try out, cause she, but she has bigger boobs than me, and she thought it was a little bit too much. So it's really just personal preference. Again, um, I've seen girls bigger chested wear it or smaller chested, so it really is just up to you. Okay, here's the sports bra. I took off the back strap, so this is that's off. Clearly, it's so cute. I love the color. This is what the keyhole design looks like on me. A lot of people kind of do, I think they like fold it under and have it like that. That's also cute, <laughs> but I would usually keep it unfolded, I think. This um, top strap is also adjustable. I don't know if you'll be able to see right there. But you can tighten it and loosen it however much you need. Um, clearly I have it on with the matching shorts. We'll go into those in a minute. This fabric is very smooth. Like again, a removable cup pads. I did it on an upper body day. I had no issues with 
gaping, falling out. The only thing is this strap gets a little uncomfortable after a little while, but that's it for me. This is the same bra in black. I haven't worn this one yet either because I was trying to keep one of them good <laughs> without like anything. Also, I did wash and hang dry everything and I do not notice any differences between the pieces that I didn't wear yet versus the pieces that I did. So this is the black one. I also love how they didn't do like any in your face logo. They really do the tone on tone. And there's one right here and then one in the back. This is what the black version of the unified twist bra looks like. I did keep both straps on this one this time. I really like the black. It's honestly very flattering. The exposure is like going crazy because it's black. But this is up close. This is the back with both straps. As you can see, it like loops through the halter strap. So like this one is the one that will come off and you can tighten this and then you can tighten the halter strap right there. There's also this little design right here, which like, I'm not really sure what that's for. I think this is so you can tighten it. I do feel that one on this particular color like a little bit more than the pink. It's not super bothersome, but like I do feel it a little depending on where it sits on your trap. But this is what the black and oil blue look like together. My sister lives in Miami and she just texted my family group chat and said some lady randomly just gave these kids two golden doodles because she needed to get rid of them because she was getting kicked out of her apartment. 40 days old, golden doodles, two of them. And she's saying like her and her friend who's there with her right now aren't gonna like just leave the kids with the golden doodles so she might take them. <laughs> some people are wild. Like just handing dogs off to a random two kids on the side. Oh. Okay, moving on to the new go-to seamless top collection. With this drop, they dropped matching effortless colors as well. Okay, so for the go-to seamless tops, I got the go-to seamless fitted long sleeve top in white. And I got these in an extra small. This is a very stretchy material. Honestly, when I saw them online, I was thinking they were going to feel more... Um, like a slick performance material, but they're not. They're actually very, very lightweight, very stretchy, and they almost give the feeling of like an effortless legging, but also not as slick as an effortless legging. Um, let me read the fabric of these. Okay, so the material is 94% nylon and 6% elastane. Um, it says it's a fitted style, long sleeve performance top made from breathable, lightweight fabric. Seamless ribbed neckline for comfort while you train. Seamless ribbed design on each side. Heat logo seal on the front left hand side. It says due to different types of fabrics across collections, please allow for slight color variations. Also what they added in on these tops is on the bottom inside. It says, honor your body. Such a cute little detail. So these are see-through, not like, whoa, but like you'd see your sports bra, especially through the white one um, in the lighter colors. I have a gray one that I haven't worn yet, which I'll show you, but this is what it looks like not on. I love this white one. I've worn it so many times to the gym. I'll pop photos in here. I don't notice any crazy sweat stains or anything like that. Um, white, you would even maybe think like deodorant staining, but I don't see that either. This is what the arm looks like. And the back. 
These are honestly one of my favorite tops that Honor Active has dropped because they're more um, gym based, like the Mellow Soft tops. I've worn them in the gym as well, but I noticed like I'll get um, deodorant staining in the armpits and Mellow Soft was never truly designed to be worn in the gym working out, but obviously people do, I did. So I'm really happy that they dropped these because they're more performance based and less likely to get like, not ruined, but little like things here and there that like you wouldn't want on the tops that you can wear with other things because Mellow Soft is something I wear outside the gym all the time. I'm also gonna throw on the go-to seamless Top over the white sports bra so you can see. Oh. Putting this over my clip is going to be so fun. I just got a little makeup on it, but it's fun. I just got makeup right there on the middle, so ignore it. As you can see, with a white sports bra on, um, <laughs> you can completely see the white sports bra. But usually I don't wear white fully under this, but honestly, I like this would not bother me like at all. I kind of like it to be honest. This is what the extra small looks like on me. Good length on the sleeves. Just very nice detailing and contouring um, on the shirt itself. High neckline. And again, I'm in front of a really big window, so this is like pretty harsh natural daylight. <laughs> the full fit. If you want, you could like have it up a little. Working out, I do notice it probably tends to sit more like right there on my waist than like all the way down. I also never really have it like that. It's usually kind of like around here. I love this combo, so cute. And then I got the same top, but the go-to seamless fitted high neck vest in wisteria purple. And I got the matching leggings to these. And she, she's the moment. This color is literally beautiful. Again, very lightweight, very stretchy. <laughs> I also got this style in an extra small. So if you're between sizes, I would size down if you want a more fitted look. This is what the back looks like, full length. It has really nice contouring, um, patterns on the side as well you'll be able to see it more when i have it on but i've also worn this in the gym and i really really like it they also have um all of these designs in the loose top form so if you don't want fitted they have the same like go-to seamless loose top same go-to seamless strappy loose vest so there's really something for everyone within this collection which is really nice I will say the vests are a little bit tighter to put on if you already have makeup and your hair done. <laughs> so, don't love that. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to take this down. Okay, so here is the Wisteria Purple. Obviously, I still have that white sports bra on. Still a little see-through, not that crazy. This color is so, so cute. The vests are also so cute and comfortable. I love the high neckline, even though it's like a little annoying to get over your head. But it's so flattering for upper body days. Even for not, if you just wanna wear this on like a leg day as well, it's so cute. I have the timeless strappy bra on again and it fits it pretty perfectly. That looks like. I also love where it hits in the arm. Um, it's not rubbing in your armpits or chafing at all. And like when you lift your arms, it's good. Okay, and lastly, I got the go-to seamless fitted top in a size extra small in the color Coal. 
I haven't worn this one yet either. Um, those other ones though, they've been through the wash many times and they still look very good. I don't think I've seen, I saw like, the only thing I randomly saw is like some loose fabric like right here near the armpit stitching, but everything else seems to be holding up nicely. I also hang dry these as well, but this is the fitted top. Size extra small, color coal. Same fabric, same design, just in the top form. So we'll see when I put this on, um, if you can see my sports bra through it. The thing I also love about a lot of their new tags is that they can rip so easily like right off so that's great i just put on the go-to seamless top in coal this is so nice my first time putting it on but she's so cute and flattering um obviously the darker colors are not as see-through the fan just turned on if you hear that ignore it this is what the top looks like Obviously, I have a white sports bra on still. They're not as see-through in the darker colors, which is nice. This is the back. I also really like when you're like lifting your arms and stuff, it stays put here, like there's no lifting. So cute, I love these tops. They're literally so flattering but also such good performance wear for in the gym. So lightweight, honestly so flattering. And the feel of this top on like my arms and my shoulders, it's so stretchy, but also sits kind of nice, just like hugging your arms. So like, I don't feel constricted at all, but it still flatters your arms really nicely. And like, I love, I love. So at the same time, they dropped some new effortless colors in the leggings and I got the color Wisteria Purple. She's gorgeous. These leggings, they are my go-to moment. I'm obsessed with them. They're just so, f oh, what is that? I think that's from my washer machine. Obviously lighter colors will be more prone to staining in the gym and outside the gym, but I've never had a problem with them like not washing out. I do see a few stains on these like dark, I don't know if that's from when I wore them to the gym or if that's from my washing machine, but I don't know. Um, they have a booty scrunch. There's a reinforced scrunch bum stretch stitch to define and separate the glutes. Super soft and lightweight seamless fabric that feels like a second skin. True. Raised contouring to accentuate your waist and to define, and to define the lower glutes. Waist hugging tiered waistband to flatter your curves and prevent gapping. High stretch fabric available in two lengths. The logo is knitted in the fabric on the side of the leg. Long narrow gusset allows for greater stretch and reduces thigh chafing. Lightweight and quick drying. I never have any sweat issues with these. Um, they're not 100% squat proof. We recommend wearing a skin tone colored thong, which is true. Um, I still wear them on leg days in the lighter colors doesn't bother me like if somebody's staring like at you while you're doing something maybe they'd see like the outline of your underwear or something like that but it does not bother me and if somebody's staring like that maybe like call the police <laughs> um i wore this combo it was like the day before my birthday and I got so many compliments on it. Like this girl was asking me all about it. I told her all about it. Um, it's such a flattering color. Obviously the effortless have no front seam, which is also, honestly none of their leggings do. So go on our active because I do not like front seam leggings. I won't buy any leggings with a front seam. The newer colors I do find are a little bit tighter than some of their older styles like I was talking about. 
but it's nothing crazy in my opinion. Um, I honestly prefer the fit of the newer ones, but I know, like I said, my sisters liked the older fit better. I know there was some talk about switching factories and stuff like that. I don't know too much about that, so I will put these on and you'll see what they look like. And I have the full Wisteria purple set on. I wore this in the gym of the pictures. I got so many compliments. Um, I am noticing, like I said, like a little staining. I think it might have been from the dumbbells. Um, it's not like the biggest deal. Like obviously it's lighter colors, like that's gonna happen. And you will see some of your skin texture through these leggings as well. I don't really know what happened there, but I think it's from the gym. Obviously like lighter colors, that's gonna happen. And from that same drop, I got another pair of the Effortless Leggings in the color Tropical Blue. I'm on the website right now, and a color that I wanted in the color True Blue is back in stock when it was sold out. And I'm very confused, but I think I need to buy them right now. <laughs> I also wore this color many times with the white Go to seamless top i will pop photos in here These colors are so perfect for summer and spring bringing back in the light colors because i tend to not wear them as much in the gym in like the winter time so they're back this is what the back looks like and they have the white knitted logo and i'll put them on okay so these are the effortless Leggings in tropical blue. I have on the timeless strappy bra right now, just to see. I'm also in front of a big window, so the lighting is more harsh than usual. Squat test. This is what the bottom of the legging looks like. I have high socks on, but they go to about ankle length on me. This color isn't as see-through as maybe like the purple, um, but you definitely, like you could probably see the outline of my underwear. And maybe like a little skin texture, but Nothing crazy. Okay guys, so that wraps up my review of the Unified collection of the pieces that I have um, and also the go-to seamless tops and some new Honor Active Effortless colors. Let me know what your favorite thing was down below. Again, I will put all my measurements in the description box as well as the links to these products to their website. Um, this video is not sponsored, obviously. <laughs> Um, I do love Honor Active, but again, like not every piece is tailored to be for everybody. And I think recently they're really trying to put something in each collection for everybody. So even though like the unified leggings aren't really my favorite, that's okay because I love the effortless leggings. And I don't really expect me to love everything and if i did my bank account would be hurting more than it already is from me wanting to buy everything from honor active <laughs> so again my true size is a small in all leggings i usually go for a small in all um lounge joggers sports bras i'm a small 
tops. I'm usually an extra small to a small. I hope this video helped if you found something you liked. And let me know if you have any questions down below. We have to answer them. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.